we're live. <clears throat> so 31st of January summary call. We've um, changed the scenery for me. I'm in the restaurant area of my club because um, I'll be we're vacating the offices today. Mm. So it looks like I'm in kind of some kind of zoo or prison or something. But um, <laughs> I, I I can't see you. I'm stuck in the back room at home. Oh but, yeah, of course. Uh, the... I I can't. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's right. You've got those those uh, slats behind you, so it does look a little prison-like, doesn't it? <laughs> it's about time someone. It, it came to this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So we've decided not to do any trading today, even though the Bitcoin did move a bit. Um, mm. If I go to uh, well, we we did put some trades on this morning. Yeah, we put some trades on. Yeah, um, yeah. but and... but our margins creeping up now and. Um, but I, I think our idea was we wanted to wait to the FOMC, uh, which is just kind of coming out now. Oh yeah. Oh, and, I, actually, um, I see. I'm still just looking at the of the Bitcoin chart now. Actually, we've just come off, haven't we? We were up at forty. Yeah. Um, that. Yeah, that, we're but, getting up close to to to. You know, it was like forty three seven. Yeah, there. we actually peaked at forty three seven four eight. Yeah, that that mm -hmm, actually caused mm -hmm. me to roll some second of Feb forty four k's out to forty six k and. Feb 9th. Aha, uh -huh. this, is, this is where I make fun of you. Yeah, because I didn't have yeah. diamond hands, did I, this time? Yeah. <laughs> I actually sold I sold some old three Febs uh, and some other accounts, uh, some, some 45, 45 and a half thousand. So. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, man. so I've cost we'll myself a week, of, a week of decay there, which is not annoying. Um, I could have got, probably got those back. It happens. Much, much cheaper. Oh, well. But you know we're right in the middle of the like we could still move tonight. So who knows? You know this could be forty five k in the morning. Who knows? So you know. Yeah, and actually, as as ever, I keep on saying this. I'm not I'm not worried about the um, uh, FOMC at all. I'm actually more concerned mm. about the inflows into ETFs uh, mm. because they're mm. they're by far the biggest determinant determinant of where we're going. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah. Okay. The headline thirteen minutes ago: Fed leaves rates unchanged. Sounds hawkish note in Mar on March. I, I knew this. I knew they'd do this. They're, yeah. they're going to they're gonna caution people all the way up to the elections, and then if Biden wins, they're going to raise rates. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, it's interesting because you, you know just before I called, uh, we were thinking should we put some trades on, but uh, you know our margin's a little high. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's okay, but it's you know we don't really want to add to it anymore. It's getting close to fifty percent. So and high. but our theta is our theta is very high right now. That's true, eighty four. So that's like uh, one and a half percent. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, a bit more. Why is our margin? Oh, that's why second of Feb, massive expiry for uh, for us. It's forty four k, forty four k, forty five k. Yeah, yeah, forty four. Uh, uh, I think we just got to run it. I think we just got to. I, th I think so too. Just wait and see. I mean, we could be at 42 and a half in the morning for all we know, right? So yep. uh, if we have to manage it, we'll manage it. And we've got orders in to buy back at 15 bips. So if we do get down to 42 and a half, that, pr that we're going to get those back overnight for sure. So yeah. yeah. Um, and our margin will get a lot. To, <clears throat> well, if, yeah. if everything expires off or, or gets bought back, our, our margin will look a lot different tomorrow. After expiry, so yeah. So if, if we get if any any of that comes off tonight, which I'm, I expect mm. the 45 k's will, then I guess mm. we're we're in a position then to put something on the fourth of February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth of fourth. Yeah. You're at uh, 01. Okay. Fantastic. Um, what else we got? Uh, we got a little bit out. Uh, 44 and a half at Feb 03. Fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everything else is. At this moment, looking pretty good. As soon as I go a little further out to, to the ninth, it's all we've got. We've got a yeah. one or two thousand, or a couple thousand bucks of buffer room. So, um, and then not much 16, to do. Forty-eight k's. Yeah, it's fine. Well, yeah, I don't know if you so, can hear the background noise around me. Is it okay? I can't hear anything. What what kind of noise is there? Over to my left, there's a table of uh, five Russian uh, guys playing board games. Ah, the, the the gamers are there. No, I I don't hear anything. No. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yeah, and over that way is fantastic. My and, and the restaurants full, so um, fun times. Okay. Um, already, yeah. So pretty much nothing to do, I think. Right? With what's our our PVs? 
5090. Oh. We're up. Not as much as we want to be, but we're up. Um, our margin's 49. That's a bit higher than we want it to be, but I'm guessing that'll come down overnight. Um, mm. And uh, I think our cash can... balance is looking pretty good too. Like, yeah, we... let's have a look. Um, Bitcoin cash balance 1.298. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's mm -hmm. that's about five and a half k, five thousand five hundred mm -hmm. intrinsic, um, and I was just thinking this this uh, cover is going to come off overnight at five percent and seven percent. Mm. It's going to expire, right? Well, it's going to expire in the morning, which means tomorrow we'll we'll have a lot less cover. Which means if you look at the margin for tomorrow, the projected margin for tomorrow, we're going to be using 0 0.02 more. So I think we ought to replace that. We ought to actually buy mm. some cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yes. Sorry. In my brain, I was thinking those the the short forty four thousand and forty five thousand. I thought those were expiring in the morning. Um, no. Not oh, the I day mean, after tomorrow. I, yeah. I expect some of it will come off overnight, but still, it might not. Could yeah, yeah. Could. So I think if we buy some second of Feb cover, maybe just like over over cover. Or even the third of Feb. Yeah, maybe, maybe the third if if we can get it decently. I know there's not a lot of room on the put side. There's not a lot of strikes, but uh, we could pay. Uh, it's it's the call side that I'm worried about, not not the puts. Um, we can, <laughs> looking at forty eight k, we could pay maybe four pips. Yeah, you can put a bit in there and see if you if you get hit. Um, yeah. 10 11 percent away just this put to two to two point two um, yeah four for point two yeah um, yeah if nothing happens overnight that's almost uh i'm not gonna say guaranteed but it's almost guaranteed it'll get built so yeah and if something does happen overnight we're gonna re readjust anyway so um <laughs> yeah yeah okay uh we could pick up some you know, O three Feb puts as well. Uh, I, I, we're a little bit disbalanced actually on the third of Feb. Um, it's because we've got the one by two, the long one by two on the third of Feb, right? When we did that little experiment. Oh yes, yes, that's what that is. I was, I was thinking, yeah, uh, no wonder. Yeah, honestly, okay, you've got you. a memory of a, of a degenerate goldfish. We did that. Got too many accounts. I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 hard when we. Uh, when we take an account and we decide to put on a you know strategy, uh, sometimes it's hard to remember, right? I mean, risk reversals are easy to spot. We do them so much, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First, um, just managing the book. So, yep. I, no, I, I like I it. I actually think there's a good chance we come down from here. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised in the least. If, yeah, because the market was comfortable at forty three and below. It pushed up today. I, I'm pretty sure that was just somebody hunting hunting the gamma to try and flush people like me out, which they did. Yeah. Yeah. And having done that, I think we settled back down to 42. And the market is has hit its head on that. Uh, just you know, 44, just sub 44, mm -hmm. three, four times in a row. So if it's going to go up, it's going to go up, and it's going to blast through, and we'll be at 44 and a half, 45, 45 and a half. Too sweet. If it doesn't, I I agree. I think we're going to come back down to you know forty two area. Uh, wouldn't surprise me in the least. Uh, we're in the middle of a channel, yep. right yeah, smack well. in the middle. So, alrighty. All yeah. right, I'll pick I, that. Uh, you good leaving stuff the way it is? I think I think we're, I'm happy with leaving it as as it is. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah, me too. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, man. Cheers. Okay, bye. Hey, and thanks for watching our daily summary video. For those of you who want to learn more, I would invite you to come and watch the full videos. These full videos are where Richard and I sit down every day, sometimes multiple times per day. We discuss the market, the metrics, our account, everything you can possibly imagine, and we execute the trades in real time. You get to see it all. Where else could you see professional fund traders do this in an account specifically set up for you, the viewer, to learn all the tips and tactics we've learned over the last 50 years combined. Now, this is for silver members and above. If you go to roguetrader.academy, silver members and above, get access to this live stream every day, 
as well as the recordings. On top of that, there's a, a weekly Ask Me Anything call. And as the name applies, you can ask us anything. Plus, you get access to all of our courses. We put out a new course every three or four months approximately. Plus, you get access to our interactive live alerts telegram channel. And this is a telegram channel where we're putting our, our trades in real time as we make them but it's interactive. That's what makes it different. So you can ask us questions. We will chat back and forth during the day with all of our members. It's super, super incredible value. So do yourself a favor. Head over to roguetrader.academy. Join up, and we'll see you soon.